Friday, 5th of April 2024, 7.30 p.m. A convoy consisting of more than 20 low loaders sets off from Vigatel Motorway Junction. The journey continues to the A1 motorway near Rechesville. Traffic is routed via the hard shoulder. Meanwhile, a lot of unloading, coordination and installation work goes on. The Astra Bridge is being built. Um, sorry, what's being built? We ask Ronnie Mevis, Chief Fitter at Marty Technics Limited. Yes, Astra Bridge, 250 meters long, weighs 1,250 tons, 7 meters 30 wide. Thanks, Mr. Mevis, that certainly was very brief. Let's get a bit more specific. Astra Bridge, a mobile construction bridge on the highway, 100 meter working range. The road under the bridge is restored while the traffic continues to flow over the bridge. No lanes have to be blocked, so traffic jams are avoided. Does such a thing really exist? Uh, okay, I still can't imagine roadworks being carried out under a bridge like that. Stop, stop, stop. I want to see this from the beginning. How do you set up something like that on a motorway? Of course, using heavy goods vehicles and cranes. But cranes can't go everywhere, and working with cranes takes time. So there are several elements that unload themselves. The biggest items are four upper ramp elements, each weighing 57 tons. They travel on six heavy-duty bogies. This is the tricky part. Elements weighing several tons each have to be maneuvered together so that they meet up precisely. Done. The two parts are now screwed together. This makes a vehicle consisting of 12 bogies. At the same time, the lower ramp halves are unloaded and assembled. Good, 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 boss. Now's the time for something really special. The rounding element for a smooth driveway onto the bridge. Since the animation was so fast, here it is again in real life just as fast. Now the three ramp parts are assembled. The rounding element is joined up to the bottom of the ramp. And all the hydraulic connections and data lines are hooked up. At the same time, the upper ramp area is docked on. This makes a vehicle consisting of 16 bogies. And once that's done, the whole procedure is repeated for the ramp at the other end of the bridge. A hard night's work summarized in a minute and a half. Assembly of the center bridge section on the second night, 175 meters in eight hours. Assembly is carried out from both sides. First, the theory. There are three part intermediate segments and mobile bridge gantries. The center intermediate segment hooks into the counterparts by means of pins. After that, the edge segments are put into place. Clever design, so let's see if it works in practice. Hmm, it's fairly quick. With 18 bridge portals and 57 intermediate segments, speed is vital. Now the elements have to be positioned. Some adjustments here and there. Everything is screwed together and the gantries are hooked up with power and data cables and all in 30 minutes per intermediate gantry unit. So the bridge gets about 20 meters and eight bogies longer per hour on each side. Now let's take a closer look at the gantries themselves, the bridge's core components and supporting elements. They're mobile and stand on solid base plates when the bridge is in operation. And they're capable of a lot more too. For transportation purposes, they have to slim down to the permitted width of three meters 50. 30 minutes is allowed for unloading and preparation. We don't have that much time, so back to the theory again. Lifting cylinders are used to push them up. Then they can drive away and are lowered onto the bogies. The heavy base plates are swiveled in and attached. The impact guards are closed. The wheels are moved into driving position and turned. Then it's time to move off for installation. Here again, everything runs smoothly, as we can see and within the allotted half hour of preparation time too. Then it's off to the installation site and the next pin is inserted. But what are the pins actually there for? So back to the theory again. The pins are pivot mounted and held in place by a wedge to prevent the elements from slipping apart. 
To the left and right are the hydraulic controls. These exert pressure on the intermediate element. This is how the bridge is maneuvered. Turning circle, two kilometers. Once the bridge is fixed, the wedge is loosened a little so that the elements can expand and contract as the temperature changes. But that's enough theory, as we now know everything works in practice too. So let's finally get started on the building work. 15 working years of steel construction. Before the steel construction, 8 years of design work. After the steel construction, 12 years of technical installation work. Once the first items are ready to move, a lot of familiarization and assembly practice is required. And more practice. And more practice. Until you can do it. And practice pays off. Assembly is virtually as fast as the computer animation. And that's a good thing, because the deadline is 5 a.m. after 8 hours of assembly. Chief fitter Ronnie Meves has done two all-night shifts, but was it worth it? It's looking very good for us. We're about to complete the bridge, so things have actually gone really well so far. Then the last center section. And then move it together. There are now 50 bogies on each side. As the last edge element is fitted, a little tour to celebrate. Everything gets tidied up, and we're good to go. The traffic can start rolling over the Astro Bridge. And now the only thing that has to work is what all the effort is actually all about. Restoring the road surface underneath the flowing traffic. And that's already underway. The worn surface is milled off to a depth of four and a half centimeters. Dumpers are required for the interim transport of material under the bridge. But otherwise, everything proceeds in the normal way. And that's exactly how the construction workers see it too. We're really happy with the Astra Bridge. You do all the restoration work underneath without any problems. The safety is much better. The traffic runs overhead, not at ground level. You don't have the sun shining on you. And you don't have to work night shifts. It's great for the family. I get to see my daughter when I go home in the evening. So, time to get everything finished off as quickly as possible. First, a layer of chippings for a better bond. And then for the last time, traffic overhead, roadworks down below. And again, there's enough space under the bridge for normal construction machinery. Incredible. Well, okay, you have to watch your head sometimes. But otherwise, the work goes ahead at a perfect rhythm. And this is the proof. Then the new road surface is in place and the foreman can go home to his daughter. The work is now finished and the bridge gets dismantled the following night. No, <laughs> just joking of course. At night when there isn't much traffic, the bridge simply moves on to the next construction stage. 100 bogies interact perfectly under GPS control and the bridge is shifted with centimeter precision. Then it's reopened for traffic and we of Marty Technic keep our eyes on everything for a bit longer. In fact, we can't wait to see what crazy machines we have to build next.